True Love Seeds is a seed company offering culturally important, sustainably grown seeds, vegetables, flowers, and herbs grown by sustainable small-scale farms focused on community food sovereignty. We're out here in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. It's our fifth season growing here. It's a small half-acre farm. We use no-till, natural farming methods. Our seeds are grown locally. You get a lot of seed from one row, but we want like a lot, a lot of seed. The vast majority of the farmers we work with are in the Philadelphia area, which means the seeds that we sell are adapted to our ecosystem, to our climate. And because we're a profit-sharing company, when you buy a seed packet from us, it's supporting these small farmers in our region. This year, we're trying to do taste tests because Aztecs originally ate them as food. We also have lots of varieties that are hard to find since we work with immigrant communities, refugee communities, and our focus is on cultural preservation in general. So you can find really amazing Southern Italian varieties or Irish varieties, African diasporic varieties, and Ecuadorian and Filipino. So it's really a broad offering of different crops from around the world. These are passion fruits. My mission as a seed keeper is to not just save the seeds of these important crops, but also save their stories and their legacies. I have been an out gay man and a vibrant queer community focused on social justice for over 20 years now. While it was a challenge to come out as a young person, I have never felt any issues in the farming or food justice communities as a gay man. Ethiopian holy basil. I started a gigantic vegetable garden at age 14 or so and immediately fell in love with it. When I finally worked on a farm when I was 19 in Virginia in the mountains, I realized it was more than a hobby and it was a calling. I saw how healing farming was for lots of people for lots of reasons, for people who were trying to heal a broken food system. And so I took it as something that was healing for me and realized I could work for the healing of all people through people producing their own foods that are affordable and accessible and culturally appropriate. I know that this is my life's work. This is what I will be doing for the rest of my life. Here's a Kenyan plant here. Chris Bolden Newsom is my partner, my husband. We've been together for about 12 years. We met through our passion for both farming and food justice. Our work has been hand in hand, even though we have different farms. Our LGBTQ ancestors have fought for this moment for us to be accepted. There's still so much more to be done. So when I was thinking of naming the company, I wanted to really honor one of my ancestors because our whole focus is on culturally important seeds and honoring their stories. And so True Love is my great-great-grandmother's name, Letitia True Love. And it just really embodied the act of keeping seeds. I say keeping seeds is an act of true love for our ancestors and our collective future. My focus is really on Southern Italian seeds, where my great-grandparents came from, Southern Italy. The San Marzano tomatoes, the best canning tomatoes, the best cooking tomatoes. I think we all need to become seed keepers. That's real food security. That's real sustainability. That's real self-reliance. And it's a lifelong journey.